Uh, my name's Paddy Eason. I'm a visual effects supervisor. I, I started out as a compositor. Um, I am one of the founders and part owner of Invisible Visual Effects, uh, which is a medium-sized visual effects facility in London. So uh, Grab is a, a UK-Irish independent creature movie. Um, modest budget, but high ambition. And, um, you know, it's, it's a very fun little movie with some really kind of cool monster effects. You know, slightly gory, um, slightly tongue-in-cheek. Um, and uh, we, we did all the effects on that um, over a couple of years ago with a small team over, over you know, over the past six months. Um, and that really got us off the ground um, as a fairly serious kind of CGI, CGI capability. Prior to that, we'd done odds and ends. We'd done a bit of snow. We'd done some, you know, backgrounds and, and um, you know, a few little bits and pieces. But this was like a, you know, a creature movie. And creatures are sort of um, reputed to be one of the hardest things to do in CG. So we, we were delighted to be asked by that production to do their monster movie. Uh, and we, we, we bust a gut to, to deliver. So that, that's, that was what Grabbers was for us. Yeah, well, one interesting one that was a little bit of a, a spin-off for us in terms of the creature work after Grabbers, we ended up doing a little bit for Skyfall. So in, in addition to uh, some screen inserts and sort of regular visual effects work that you wouldn't notice, you know, some environment work and some green screen backgrounds and so on, we did the scorpion on Daniel Craig's hand. So he's involved near the beginning of the film in a, in a drinking game with a deadly scorpion um, and he has to put it on the back of his hand uh, and then also do, take a shot, you know. So that was a, a CG scorpion, which we did. And it's, it's only, you know, I don't know, five shots or something, but it's pretty big in frame and it's the main story point at that moment in the film. So that, that was great to do that, fairly short after Grabbers. We've also done um, Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans and John Carter. You know, each of those films we did, you know, sections you know we're not double negative in that npc but we we're able to do our own hundred shots here hundred shots there kind of thing um uh, frank and we need to do all the effects on that so you know you check out our website we've, we've done a variety of different stuff we've done a large proportion of the effects work on the new muppets film for disney which is lovely so that, that's been great fun for everyone i mean you know muppets you can't go wrong in fact my first ever vfx credit was on um muppets christmas carol so it's really nice for me that we're kind of you know doing some on this now as well. Uh, a couple of um, smaller scale British independent films that won't come out for for a year or two. Um, one called Pride, um, another one called um, Trash for a working title. So you know I, I'm really keen that we continue to do those kind of modest sized British movies. Uh, we're doing a chunk of stuff on Edge of Tomorrow, which is the new Tom Cruise movie. And uh, the main thing that's occupying me at the moment is the next film for John Wright, who directed Grabbers and Tormented, that we started off with, and that's called Our Robot Overlords. And it's a story about the Earth invaded and under occupation by evil alien robots. Well, I mean, I, I'm always keen that people are, are, have a good knowledge of film and photography. And, you know, it's all very well being a, a great expert in a particular piece of software or a particular kind of niche. Um, but, you know, I don't think it's worth anything unless you've watched loads of movies, you love movies. Um, I think it's particularly important in, in almost every realm of VFX that people are interested in photography, you know, and spent a certain amount of time with the camera, taking photos and understanding photos. It's great if people can draw. Um, uh, also, you just generally have to be a kind of a, a, a reasonable communicator and, and person that can get on with a team and so on. But you know, I would say to any 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 person who's got a, a desire to get into VFX, just make sure you you love animation, you love films, you love photography. What's the best thing about working in visual effects? Um, just working with images and being able to polish them and get things looking really cool. And the most satisfying thing is having a very challenging shot. Maybe people have said, I don't know how you're going to do that. It's going to be really hard. And you end up, you know, delivering something, and it just looks amazing, and people just love the look of it. And then, you know, and perhaps they don't know how you've done it. So it's it's the privilege of being able to really fine tune stuff. Um, we get the time on features to to do that.